Today our tour starts at Piazza Barberini, beside the Fountain of Trenton. This piazza was used as the location for displaying human corpses when needed public identification up until the 1800s. From the Fountain of Trenton, we're going to take you to the Catacombs of San Calastro. Okay, so now we're passing through very big gates. You might be saying, why are we passing through very big gates? Where are we going? Well, we're going to the catacombs. But in order to get to the catacombs, we have to get outside of the walls of the ancient city. So if you if you are a fan of history, or if you, if you know a little bit about Roman history, the ancient city was enclosed inside a wall for safety, for fortifications. This could uh, allow for a more strategic form of protection and of defense. And we're heading outside because the catacombs are all located outside these initial walls. Maybe a little bit of a mess here. Because all the catacombs are actually located outside of the walls of Rome, of the ancient walls of Rome. This is because it was illegal to bury the dead inside the walls of the city. This is for health purposes. Because the more bodies you congregate, the more illness can appear. Plague, for example, was rampant 2,000 years ago, and they wanted to avoid this. So why not cremate the bodies? Mm, because Christians didn't believe in cremations and they believed in bodily resurrection and the catacombs were specifically built for Christians. Now, you might be thinking, hmm, but Christianity wasn't the official religion of the Roman Empire in antiquity 2000 years ago. It became the official religion about in the, in the, at the end of the fourth century after Christ AD. But before then, first, second, third century, it was actually a persecuted religion. It was illegal, basically. Um, and it was very frowned upon by the Roman Empire to be a Christian. But a lot of Christians elected this, this religion, this belief, because it, it uh, emphasized equality and it allowed for a more stable way of life. Now, the official religion, what, um, what the Roman Empire used to believe in was polytheism. They were polytheistic. Polytheism means the belief in multiple gods. So what we know now as Greek mythology, Roman mythology, everything like that, is what they believed in in antiquity. So they did believe in the 12 main gods, Poseidon, um, Hades, uh, Zeus, known in, in their Greek terms. They believed in all these gods, but they also very importantly believed that their emperor was also a god. Now this is the main reason why the Roman Empire persecuted Christians because Christians believed in one God. Now, if Christians believed in one God, but polytheists believed in multiple gods and they also believed that their emperor was a God, this was a clear contradiction. It wouldn't, it didn't make any sense. So this, um, this caused doubt in the religion, in the Roman Empire, and they didn't want this to happen, of course. So they actively persecuted them for years and years and years. And the Christians ended up building these catacombs outside of the city. See, one of the one of the driving skills, because they just turn whenever they want to without waiting. They think that it's okay to just like put the light on and go anyway. You know, you have to put the light on that you're gonna turn and then stop and wait. But another thing. Um, so the Christians built these catacombs as a kind of safe ha haven cemetery. The catacombs are cemeteries, tombs. That's what. That's exactly what they are. They are built underground. You're gonna see it. It's actually a bit cold down there, so if you brought a jacket, please put it on, or a pashmina, put it on, because it's a bit cold underground. But these were built underground for one simple reason, convenience. They needed the space, and underground you could dig and dig and dig more tunnels and create more space. So the catacombs run for miles, and this is one of six catacombs that are in Rome. So it's meant this area alone, we have two more. We have San Domitila and San Calisto. All worth a visit if you get the chance. But we are going to visit San Sebastian. And it's the fact that death was, was an open, good, positive part of life. So Christians and Catholics, they never really believed that death was something to be afraid of. As a matter of fact, Christians 
used to celebrate their death date more than their birth date. The catacombs are subterranean passageways that were used as place of burial for a number of centuries. The burials of Jewish, pagan, and early Christian Roman citizens in the catacombs began in the 2nd century and ended in the 5th century. The Christians did not agree with the pagan custom of burning the bodies of their dead, for which reason to solve problems created from a lack of space and the high price of land, they decided to create these vast underground cemeteries. The word catacomb, which means next to the quarry, comes from the fact that the first excavations to be used as a place of burial were carried out in the outskirts of Rome next to the site of a quarry. The catacombs form real labyrinths that are several kilometers long, along which rows of rectangular niches were dug out. The corpses were wrapped in a sheet and placed in the niches, which then were covered with gravestones made of marble or more commonly baked clay. Subsequently, the name of the deceased was carved on the cover accompanied by a Christian symbol. Roman law at the time prohibited the burial of the deceased in the interior of the city, for which reason all of the catacombs were located outside of the walls of the ancient city of Rome. These separated and hidden places below ground constituted the perfect refuge in which the Christians could bury their own freely using Christian symbols. In the year 313, the persecution of Christians ceased and they could begin to build churches and acquire land without fear of confiscation. During the barbarian invasion of Italy in the 8th century, many catacombs suffered continuous lootings for which reasons the popes caused the still remaining relics to be transferred to the city's churches. After these transfers, some catacombs were abandoned and completely forgotten for centuries. The catacombs were then filled in with rock and dirt. Just in the last couple centuries, they started uncovering all of these well-preserved tombs. At the end of our tour, coming out of the catacombs, we enter Basilica San Martino and Monte, which is a beautiful church that sits on top of the entranceway to the catacombs. I hope you have enjoyed the amazing history and wonderful catacomb tour. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. And remember, it's up to you to make it fun Make it yours. We'll see you the next time.